What is the most effective psychological trick you use? My youngest, four, got into the why phase a little while back. Read an article that said the best way to get them to stop was to ask them I'm not sure. What do you think? It is a godsend. They answer their own question. You provide some feedback sounds good to me. And they immediately move on. Fucking awesome. I currently manage around 240 people between 6 restaurants. It is often hard to get them to do what is needed. I have found saying I need your help is sufficient to get them on board. People want to feel needed and like they are making a difference. Expressing to them as much makes all the difference in the world. Listening to someone without giving advice or pushing for more information typically nets me more information than being pushy for it. I work as a creative director. I have a lot of great clients. Unfortunately with a few shitty managers from their side. They usually go with a mantra of if it's not my idea. It's not a good idea. I end up, sometimes, telling them about something Google, Tesla, Amazon, Samsung, etc. is doing. And how we could try it. They jump at these ideas. The ideas are actually mine or my team's. Works like a charm. Use this sparingly. Using it as an easy escape is not a good idea. It works. But know when to use it. If you use it all the time. It won't make you look any better. It will also allow people to be promoted who aren't capable of doing the job. Pointed out by root foot backslash thank you backslash. Good luck everyone. If you need to remember something. Think about it while doing something noticeably unusual. This will pair the memory with a something. So that when it is noticed later on it will trigger that particular memory. E. G. I need to take out the garbage before going to bed. Put your pillow at the foot of your bed. If you hand something to someone they will take it. It's a lot of fun. If you need to de-escalate someone and get them to communicate asking questions about numbers slash personal information, I work in emergency services. If someone is totally distraught and shut down, asking their phone number slash address slash SSN slash birth date can pull them out of the emotional place and bring them back to a headspace where they can talk about what happened more easily. I often ask these questions even after I have the information just to de-escalate. When somebody shy is speaking, if you look at them and nod your head it encourages them to keep talking. Instead of asking do you have any questions? I ask what questions do you have? The first almost always results in silence. And the second lets people feel comfortable to ask questions. I work with a bunch of idiot lawyers and I use the phrase you're correct all the time, even if it's one teeny tiny thing they're correct about. It makes them feel smart and they instantly soften. It also keeps them listening because they're hoping more flattery will come down the pike evil cackle. Thanking someone for a trait you want from them. Instead of telling a customer you're sorry for their wait, tell them thank you for your patience or understanding. Works wonders. I have to work with kids a lot. Having a summertime job where I volunteer to assist counselors at a camp for service hours and having five younger siblings. Don't tell them not to do something. If I told you, don't think about unicorns. You'll immediately think about unicorns for the split second I say it. If I instead said, think about turtles. You'll think about turtles for at least that split second I said it. Don't tell a kid not to something. Rather tell them to do something else. Instead of don't hit your sister. Say, let's play a nice game with your sister. That way you don't put the idea into their mind that you don't want them doing it. Which, in their childish manner, fuels the fire to do it more. I can't remember. My wife's a psychologist and I lost all my superpowers of manipulation of time and space. Instead of arguing I start off by agreeing and then state my point of view after addressing the other person's point. Always ends in a positive interaction. Don't say it's okay when someone apologizes. Say something like, thank you for apologizing. If someone needs to apologize to you, then it was something that isn't okay. My mom teaches this to her kindergartners and it really does make a difference. Opens doors for growth and conversation too. 
Thank you for apologizing. I don't like it when you hit me. Or whatever. Be direct and personal when you need things. Instead of asking if anyone has an AP pen, ask who has an AP pen. Instead of saying someone call 911, point to someone say you in the blue jacket, what's your name? Tom, okay Tom, go call 911 and come tell me when they are in the way. Music. Putting headphones in and playing the music that I know I'd want to hear if I was in the mood that I want to be in shifts me over to that mentally. And really helps when I need to calm down or when I need to feel happier. It if this is an actual thing or not. Or maybe just distractions. But when I do something annoying or bothersome to my husband and he goes quiet. I wait a few minutes and then I ask him a seemingly innocent question. Usually on the subject of how certain parts of a car works. Or something mechanical. This gets him talking about the car thing and he rambles for like 5 minutes and then bam. He's happy again and not quietly brooding. He'll never tell him I do that because I'm afraid it won't work anymore if he knows about it. It's foolproof though. It works every single time. No matter how bothered he is. Whenever I know somebody is holding some truth from me. I'll look at them and stay silent, no nodding. No acknowledging, just looking. The silence usually brings out the truth or extra detail. If they squirm around a bit you know there's something they have exaggerated etc. I'm a professional poker player. When I am in a pot with one other player. I often try to make them laugh when they are thinking about what to do. If you can get them to laugh. It sets them in a mood where they are unlikely to bluff. I talk a lot in general it's very common to make jokes at the table even in hands. When you need to find out a name e.g. for a lead. You say oh is John still managing up there? They go no it's Mark now. Works with anything. Just use a fake. Is that your focus outside? What? No mine's the Ferrari. When you are standing in a group and somebody tells a joke or something funny happens. People tend to look towards the person they like the most while laughing. This isn't something I've used but I think it's worth sharing. Darren Brown said that once there was a muscly drunk guy that wanted to beat him up and said the classic what are you looking at? Darren replied with the wall outside my house is 4 feet tall. The idea is that it puts the aggravated person on the back foot and takes them out of that adrenaline filled state. Anyways he sat down and the guy started crying to him about his GF. He is Darren Brown though so I wouldn't recommend this to everyone. If someone says they have the hiccups. Ask them to prove it. 9 tenths times. Their hiccups will disappear. Having to summon a hiccup in order to demonstrate will trick your diaphragm into just not hiccuping. I've been able to twist it around on myself with some success as well. But it takes practice. You realize you have hiccups. Then slash try slash to hiccup. Actively try to make yourself do another one. It'll stop.